part four of the Feral Pig Control webinar series from Leading Sheep features Jason Wishart from the Invasive Animals CRC discussing new active sodium nitrite. The other thing we wanted to do was to develop a bait with a new active um, because poisoning is one of the most efficient techniques for controlling feral pigs in Australia. Although some of the current toxins are not ideal. So 1080, the death between 4 and 20 hours, is a non-selective um, toxin at the feral pig dose. Feral pigs require about a 72 milligram dose, uh, which is quite high compared to, say, a fox or a dog bait, which is a fox bait 3 and, and a pig bait maybe 6. There is no antidote, um, and it also is restricted access. So it's, it's difficult to get your hands on the toxin unless you have all the right um, training and qualifications and you've got to buy that by authorised personnel. So normally government agencies prepare that. Yellow phosphorus is another one or SAP. Um, it's been, there's a fair bit of controversy about the use of SAP, uh, largely to do with the, the humaneness. It can take up to two to four days for an animal to go down with SAP. The symptoms are supposedly uh, quite inhumane and it's another non-selective toxin. Um, and it's a residual toxin, so it lasts in the environment for quite a while, uh, so it can get passed down the food chain. The other one is warfarin. It's uh, been used in a few programs, in, mostly in the ACT and in the Magic National Park. It's quite effective on feral pigs, but again considered relatively inhumane because the death has takes so long. So, and, and that's an, an anticoagulant, and it causes internal bleeding. Um, so, so there, as mentioned. Um, I guess not ideal for feral pig control. Uh, so, well, it was actually uh, Brennan Cowlin who did a Achilles heel review um, of potential alternate toxins on feral pigs. So, talent toxins and weaknesses in feral pigs as part of his PhD. Found the sodium nitrite uh, worked was was quite the target for met hemoglobin levels in feral pigs. Um, and they're susceptible to that mode of action. Um, and sodium nitride is a common food preservative, so there's quite a lot of information available on, on the toxin itself. Um, and as mentioned, it prevents uh, the red blood cells from carrying oxygen throughout the body. Um, so this depletes oxygen to organs like the brain and the heart, um, which causes relatively quick death. Um, and as mentioned, pigs are in relatively inefficient compared to other animals that counteract them counteracting this process. Um, there are limited symptoms. Death can take up to one and a half hours. Um, normally the first hour or so there is no visual symptoms at all and then they go downhill really fast after that. Uh, and there is an antidote, methylene blue, which can counteract this process. Initially there were a number of pen trials um, on the product to work out what would work best, all those sorts of things, and we developed a prototype bait and then went in and did some field trials. The field trials generally last for three to four weeks. Initially start with some pre-feeding, getting the pigs used to congregating in a particular area, and then that's followed by a toxic baiting phase. Uh, during that time, there's plenty of monitoring going on, bait take, individuals at bait stations using remote cameras, and also remote cameras just placed throughout the landscape at dams and things. So far, um, these up here in the corner, you can see where we've done trials. And uh, the, the average feeding population knockdown is around about 82%, which is quite good. Um, the only problem is we're, we're having trouble with the long-term stability of sodium nitride at the moment. Um, and we're currently working on the formulation to increase that. Um, so that's still a while off. Um, so can't really give any, any dates here on when this may be available. But all I can say is we're working on it and we're getting closer. <laughs>